Hey everybody, Rob here from More Music in Evansville, Indiana, moreguitars.com, and I got my special buddy here, special. John Schneider, and uh, he's going to play some guitar, and we're going to talk about Paul Reed Smith Wood Library, and what does that mean, and maybe demystify some of that a little bit. So can I jump in with some you questions? Can, yeah, okay. absolutely. So when this was brought up to me the other day, my first question was, what is Wood Library? Okay. So what is what does that mean, Wood Library? Wood Library is a special, magical place <laughs> okay. within the Paul Reed Smith Guitar Factory in Stevensville, Maryland. It actually is this little dedicated area at the factory where, um, as they're grading in the, in, the incoming wood uh, in the wood shop, they, they send a certain uh, uh, portion of that out over to the Wood Library, stuff that maybe is just a cut above mm -hmm. the already really nice stuff that they're using on their everyday uh, guitar builds. Right. Um, so they, it's, it's all the common woods that you would see in a Paul Reed Smith. There's flamed maple, there's quilted maple for tops, there's mahogany for bodies, there's, there's carinas, there's rosewoods, there's ebonies. Um, and it's just the special stash of the factory, a uh, special stash of wood. So the cool thing about being a top, what they call PRS signature dealer, is that we actually have the luxury of going to the factory um, as off, pretty much as often as we want. We go about three times a year, um, and it could be different uh, groups of us from more music. Sometimes right. Brett and I go, or Brett and Corey, or Brett and Ed, or me, Brett and Ed. Mm -hmm. um, but we'll go to the factory, we'll, we'll spend a day in the wood library, and we'll decide, you know, based on trends that we're seeing, based on our own inventory needs, right. um, we will decide that we're going to do some builds of maybe custom 24s or uh, McCarty's or McCarty 594's. We'll, we'll look at all the different variations that PRS makes, decide what our inventory needs are and what people right. are talking about, sure. um, and then we'll 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 build some runs. Now with Wood Library, we have to we can't just build one-offs. If right. we say we're going to build a run of custom 24's with certain specs, well, we have to do at least 10 of them. Okay. okay? Now they can be we can mix up the colors, right. but spec-wise, there has to be 10 guitars that are all spec the same. Gotcha. Gotcha. But, but what we'll do is um, we get to hand select. We, we'll go through all the wood. We'll decide first of all, okay, let's say we're going to do a run of, let's talk about this guitar sure. you have here. What differentiates that from the normal version? This is the PRS Hollow Body 2 Paizo Wood Library. Okay, so this features a flamed maple top. Um, the standard catalog version would have a mahogany middle wood and then if you'll flip that over mm -hmm. what's unique about this particular model is the top the backs are also flame maple it's but gorgeous. this middle wood would typically be a mahogany mm -hmm. and we chose Karina which is has a lighter look to it it has a lighter just physical weight to it yeah it's a very and, light guitar and from a tonal perspective um, adds maybe a little bit of uh, clarity. Mm -hmm. Mahogany can tend to be kind of a real mid-range, sure. middle, mm -hmm. middle of the road as far as term, uh, tone goes. Mm -hmm. Karina is very similar but, but has a little bit of clarity yeah. um, over the mahogany and we just think it looks cool. It does. I, di I didn't realize that Karina was so light in color so I learned something. So that's, that's we, we have the ability with I should back up a little bit. I'm getting ahead of myself, but with Wood Library, I'm so excited. I'm well, we'll talking about Wood Library. Excited. I'm so glad you asked me here today. I get, I'll bet. Just get emotional. But anyway, so special stash of wood. Yeah. We go there often. We decide what we want to build, and then it's just a matter of okay. So we need if we're going to do a run of ten of these uh, Hollow Body Two um, Pizos, mm -hmm. we need we know that we need to hand select not only a really killer flamed maple top but right. a matching but back, back so, too, yeah. so 10 guitars we've got to pick 20 essentially yeah. really crazy highly figured maple tops yeah we gotta we gotta pick 10 bodies mm -hmm. we gotta pick 10 necks and 10 fretboards and we right. pick all of that right we'll go through if we know we're gonna pick flame maple tops we'll go through every flame maple top they have in the wood library yeah. we'll make a couple of piles we'll make the this is a definite, this is a maybe, this is a no. Yeah. And we'll go through every piece of wood in the wood library and only select the best of the best for our builds. So when you say every piece, ballpark figure, how many pieces just for that, like a top, how many pieces are you talking about? 
just to pick tops. Uh-huh. Oh man, maybe a couple of hundred. Wow. We also get as part of the Wood Library program is we have access to a little bit broader color palette. We yeah. get a, a, several more colors to choose yeah. from. Um, we can mix up the hardware a little bit. Right. Um, and then um, we can we can mix up the pickups and like say maybe a guitar normally would come with this pickup, but hey, right. let's try this instead and see what it does. Yeah. We get the flexibility of doing that. Um, we can also mess around. Like I said, we can use, we can substitute woods where this guitar mm-hmm. would normally have a mahogany neck and a mahogany middle yeah. body. We got to we, we got to play around with Karina. So yeah. it allows us to experiment. That's cool. Do some runs of guitars that are going to be uniquely yeah, different will... from what everybody else has. If you fall in love with a Wood Library PRS on mm-hmm. our website, mm-hmm. you're probably you know chances of finding that exact guitar somewhere yeah. else are really slim. So are you guys always going for the stunners? Are you always kind yes. of going? For, yeah, <laughs> absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I guess there's really no reason to not, right? So yeah, <laughs> yeah. we we look for the the just the craziest yeah. figure. Um, you know, on this, uh, I didn't go on this last trip. Mm-hmm. Um, Brett and Corey, Corey it was Corey's yeah. first time. We're mm-hmm. glad, really glad he got to go. Um, there's been a shortage of really good quality quilted maple mm-hmm. for a while. But on this last trip, the wood they had a a, a really nice stash of quilted uh, maple in yeah. the wood library. So Corey and, and Ed used as much of it as they could because again, it's something that that's great not coming out of the factory right. too much so if yeah. we can have some really cool quilt well that, nobody else has it you know it's it's it's, it's a that nice leads advantage. Me, that leads me to my next question then is generally speaking what is you go and you choose everything and generally what's the turnaround from there as far as build time <laughs> well right now i know prs is making a lot they've been working on this for a while to make some changes to shorten this lead time. Mm-hmm. I can tell you, unfortunately, right now, it's been um, anywhere from 12 to 15 months. Oh, so. The time we spec it to the time yeah. we see it come back to the shop as a completed well, instrument. At least you know it's quality, though. Yeah, they're, they're and it's, just... but it's, it's. <laughs> I know it's it's got to be hard for our clients when yeah. they, they pick out that guitar and they yeah. put that deposit down, and now it's, so, you got to wait 12 months. I, I couldn't do it. Yeah, you I, would I you would go no, nuts. I'm, yeah. Once I decide I'm spending the money, I got to have it. You right want now. it right then. So then, speaking of clients, then when you've picked everything out, is it available for people to purchase before it's even built? Then, or do they need to wait until it's actually physically finished? We're working or? on trying to um, do more of that. Mm-hmm. It's a little bit difficult in the fact that. Um, even though we we take pictures once we once we pick out the, all the wood for each run, mm-hmm. we take photos of everything right there on the spot mm-hmm. in the wood library, each wood set, right, and we number them, right, and we say okay this is McCarty five ninety four number one, right. McCarty five ninety four number two. Mm-hmm. We're usually there at the factory for about a day and a half, yeah, and we cram a lot into a day yeah. and a half. It's it's. <laughs> It's usually at least a, a half a day, if not a, a whole day, just in the wood library, and sure. then another half day um, in the private stock vault, basically doing the same thing, but at the private stock level. That's insane. Yeah. Are there snacks? Yeah, absolutely. Oh, well, that's yeah. even better. <laughs> There's an awesome uh, sandwich shop that's close to the factory. Yeah. And uh, we always order in sandwiches and, and chips Yeah. for lunch. Yeah, like genuine good sandwich then, like, like the they don't really necessarily have around here, but you're talking about, if you know what I'm talking about, where it's a good sandwich. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so you kind of, we, you know, you get the same, you, you look forward to the sandwich yep. now on the yep. trip. Yeah, yep. I'm, I'm with you. Food leads me everywhere, so <laughs> <laughs> I'm with you. Yep. We're, so again, just let's, let's sure. talk about this guitar a little sure. bit more, and then there's, we got another one standing by, and we'll grab Let's just talk about what we did that's kind of uniquely different mm-hmm. from the catalog version. So again, yep. you're holding the hollow body two piezo. Yep which would normally have a mahogany middle wood, which is this body, this middle wood here. Carina, yeah. Mahogany neck. Yeah. This has a Carina body, Carina mm-hmm. neck. Mm-hmm. Guitar would normally have a rosewood fretboard. This features an ebony fretboard. Mm-hmm. 
And the birds. Um, and then the birds. Famous birds. We were, that's, that's another thing we can kind of play around with is the materials that, that the, the bird inlays are made out of. So yeah. we tend to favor in a lot of our builds mm -hmm. what they call the POWA centers. Yeah. And then a mother of pearl outline. Yeah. It's, and that's what these are. It is. It's honestly, it's art. I mean, I'll be honest. It's this, the whole guitar is just. And this has the hybrid hardware. Um, which is the mix of the nickel and the gold. Yeah. Um, and I think we went with the stock pickups on this build, which are the 5815 yeah. LTs. I've been very impressed with the 5815s. You want to play it you, while you have this guitar? You want to play it and you're, and you're plugged in? I guess I should play something. That's kind of why we brought you here is, is to play right? the darn thing. <laughs> You have the um, that's the neck. So do you have the piezo going out to a separate yep. deal? Okay, cool. I'll so we go, get to hear all that. I'll go to that right now. Right. So there's our. output for that piezo pickup yep. so you're sending that to an actual acoustic yep. amplifier yep two yep. two totally different chords going out to two totally different setups all right i'm going back to my world though okay which is electric guitar. okay and then you'll <laughs> blend them right well can we do the blend today okay let's blend them so that's both of them Magnetic pickups go into the Mesa Boogie. The Mesa Boogie. Paizo go into the uh, Fishman Acoustic yep. Amp. Cool. It's pretty neat. It sounds great in the room here. It does. I'm going to kick on a little bit of drive to get a okay. little bit of uh, acoustic blended in with some overdrive. It's very strange in the room because there's this other, like you can hear the overdrive, but you also have this clean undertone that's going to I can see where something like that would be very addictive yeah. so I can't afford a guitar like this right now so I'm not going to get used to it <laughs> that's cool that's really cool you could go super super wet I guess too with your electric signal that's pretty awesome yeah I, lots of I lots like of options yes all right, so going back down here into the pickups, and you already kind of heard the neck in the middle. And in the bridge, I really like these bridge pickups. because I like it. Yeah. I can hear a little bit of brightness though. Maybe that is from the Karina then? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. That ebony board's gonna give you a little bit of space. Uh, that's too. true, yeah. I love ebony. Um, I've only had two guitars with ebony fretboards and both of them. Just like you said, there's a little bit of brightness to it and just slickery. They're very slickery. slickery. Very slickery. This is pretty awesome. I've been a nervous wreck holding it. Uh, like I was telling Larry, this is pretty much like I'm holding a used Camry on my lap. <laughs> so I'm going to turn the volume down and then I'll reach over and we'll show them another I'll wood show, library guitar. I'll show them another one okay. and be nervous with that one probably too. Okay. Okay. I'm Please stand by. So what you have here is a custom 24 wood library, mm -hmm. but with uh, many differences. Mm -hmm. um, this is in the Armando's Amethyst color, which is very purple, very cool purple. Looks delicious. Um, if you'll turn it over, sure. um, it, it is a mahogany back, but look at the ribbon in that mahogany. We, they, we got to select some really cool looking mahogany that's got that, that ribbon pattern in it. Um, I really like it. It's got a great backside. And if you look at the neck, this guitar would typically, a Custom 24 would come with a glossy finish mahogany neck. This guitar, this run, 
is a satin finish East Indian rosewood, which we our clients are loving these yep. uh, satin finish East Indian rosewood necks. They feel so yep. good. It's phenomenal. It's absolutely. And you really don't <laughs> realize how much the glossy finish yep. necks can tend to get a little sticky until you play they something like this uh, that doesn't get that way. At absolutely, all. it's yeah. fantastic. Yeah. I'm going to be taking Scotch Bright to all of my guitars after this, right after this. So another, again, we get to play around with, we get to kind of customize these guitars a little bit when we do these wood library runs. A custom 24 would typically have a volume and tone control, but with a right. five-way blade mm -hmm. pickup selector switch. You'll notice this guitar has volume and tone, but right. a three-way toggle. Right. The tone is a push-pull. Right. So when you pull that tone knob up, that splits the two humbuckers into single coil mode, essentially. Gotcha. And now with the three-way toggle, you can either do back pickup, both pickups, or neck pickup in right. either full humbucker mode or split mode, Yep. which gives you a few more split coil options mm -hmm. than the traditional custom 24 setup. Yep. That's called McCarty switching, which you would normally see on the McCarty model. We'd love to do that on custom 24s. Yeah. It's just our personal favorite uh, setup, and we know a lot of our clients dig that as well. What kind of pickups are in these? These things? are the, this is what you would normally get on a custom 24. These are the 8515s. Gotcha. Yeah. And they are a modern, somewhat aggressive. I, I, hate, I use the word aggressive, but I, I, I fear that that makes people go, oh, aggressive. I don't <laughs> like aggressive. It's, it's the good kind of aggressive. It's not gotcha. offensively aggressive. Right. Um, but they are, it is a, it is a, what you would think of in a traditional PAF humbucker pickup, but with an, a, an extended range of, of not only lows, but highs. Yeah. And it makes it much more modern and yeah, more, a little high more five. aggressive and a little more usable, especially for the player who's using a lot of distortion, sure. maybe tuning down a little bit and, and really having to cut through yeah. a thick wall of sound. Yeah. Well, they're great sounding pickups. Yeah. I'll run through a couple of things. Yeah, please. Again, guitar, pedals here and there, and the Fillmore 50, I think it's set to 25 watts, just to save on Larry's hearing. It's the bridge, and in the middle. palette of usable sound. It is, yeah. The uh, uh, you, You've got a lot to choose from for sure. Pretty cool. Well, hey, thanks for joining us. Uh, Join us next time for all of our crazy, wacky videos on YouTube. And uh, make sure you're checking out moreguitars.com. Um, if you're on Facebook, we have, uh, our, we're on Facebook at More Guitars. And if you need anything, if you have any questions, call us, chat with us, text us. We're available. So thanks for joining us. Come back and see us. And if you're ever in Evansville, Indiana, come by the shop. We'd love to see you. <laughs>